I just feel like the scale of movies back in the 70s and 80s were very different. A lot of it has to do too with the studios not wanting to take chances so much nowadays. They, back in the day, they would give you know, a kid that did some impressive short film a, a whole budget you know, for a movie and he would get creative and do something. But the, then they weren't so hands-on, I, I feel like they are now, but movies back in the 70s and 80s, they would do biopics that were three hours, three and a half hours, four hours. That doesn't exist anymore. You know, as to where, when you sat down and watched a biopic back in the day, and it was three and a half hours long, you felt like you lived a whole life, you know. As to where a biopic in an hour and 40 minutes, I'm like, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't feel like I really got to know the character, you know. As to where in a biopic, if you see him, and a lot of it is where they start compared to where they end. And that very much interests you. It's like, maybe they start... Um, I remember Steven Spielberg talking about some movie where a, a guy starts in the beginning of the movie and he has, I think it's Lawrence of Arabia, he starts in the beginning and he has this beautiful sword and his beautiful outfit and he's so primped and proper and, and it's so clean and by the end of the movie he's so bloody and his image of the world is completely changed and he's a mess and th that's from start to finish, ideal, that's such a change in character, you know, and, and bio, biopics should be character pieces. Um, I like in our movie, um, the one I'm changing, I don't know the name of it yet, but the book's called Catch the White Tiger. He's, he starts the movie, he's selling, in Lebanon, he's selling jeans, American jeans in Lebanon. By the end, he's selling Lebanese food to Americans in America. So, I mean, like, that full circle is very interesting to me, you know. Um, and also, he's a kid in the beginning, and he's a grown adult at the end. But we're figuring out all the, the elements of that that we're going to put into it. But, but my original point was just that biopic films back in the day were such more epic. 70s movies, 80s, were way more epic and had way more freedom to make a movie that was longer than your typical below two hours. And a lot of it is because I feel like today's society is so... I remember I, wa I was on a plane flight, and I was watching a woman. She was doing her homework. A movie was playing on, on her laptop, and she was on her phone doing social media all at the same time. <laughs> and I'm like, but don't you want to pause the movie? I was like, I, I said, excuse me, are you watching a movie right now? She says, yeah, yeah, I'm watching a movie. I said, is it the first time you've ever watched it? She said, yeah, it's the first time. First time watching a movie, and she's doing her homework and doing social media at the same time that the movie's playing. I'm like, what's the point of watching the movie? But that's, what, that's the kind of world we grow up in now. Everybody's attention span is even shorter, you know? So it's very interesting in that way. You know, people, I, my, I think my brother told me some film students he was sitting next to, and they were like, I, I saw The Godfather. I don't really see what the big point is. It wasn't very good, you know? It's because their attention spans are so short. It's sad in a way because, like, how are you supposed to feel a movie unless you really get into it, you know? Um, like Silkwood. Sorry to interrupt, but I, I don't know if you saw that. I remember seeing that as I a kid. I don't know if I have seen it. Yeah, it's pretty intense. You have all kinds of movies you just bring it up that I haven't seen. <laughs> Silkwood. Who, who, what actors in it? Uh, let's see. I think, uh, is it Meryl Streep and Cher, I want to say? Sorry if it's wrong. I know someone's going to write a comment. It's definitely it's, someone. I, sh I, I It sounds like a movie I'd like to watch. It's, so. it's, it's intense and it's not necessarily a happy ending, but it's about a whistleblower at a company and it's um, really well hmm. done. Whistleblower at a company, have I seen it? I don't know. I'm trying I'm to rack my brain sure. at 10,000 hours if I spent my time watching it. Yeah. But I, I, I can't remember. I'll have to check it out. Mm -hmm. You know what I really love to do, actually? Uh, I used to love to do this all the time, is take an actor, I'd go on IMDb, and then I'd watch their movie history in order of every acting role they ever did. And nowadays it's way easier than back when I was a kid. You know, I'd have to go to the library or whatever and luckily Netflix was around at a certain point and you could just go to their library. They had such a big library. But I loved watching how they progressed as an actor. And I like doing it for film directors too and watching from starting movie to the next movie and seeing how much they learned and how they progressed as a filmmaker as well as an actor. So. Yeah, I think I remember having to go to Blockbuster too and they had this like huge book it was almost like a dictionary, and you'd have to like go through it and then try to like cross-reference stuff, and yeah. That was my first job, actually. <laughs> my first job was at Blockbuster. Oh, which one? <laughs> the one in Oregon? Yeah, the one in Oregon, yeah. And you'd have your top picks or whatever, and so my first job was at Blockbuster, and I would literally, 
Like I loved helping people f discover new movies. You know, it was like a joy to me back then. And you used to get the movies before they came out, you know, before normal people could get them. That was thrilling for a week. And then also, you, I, I remember I could rent five movies a week. And so that was like a, 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 a one way I could, you know, watch so many movies. It was great. So. Right. I always liked the movies at Blockbuster that there weren't 50 of them on the wall. It was always these obscure ones. And it was a treasure. It was, it was really a challenge to try to hunt through and find them. Mm -hmm. You know, so it wasn't necessarily... Yeah, that's gone now. It's, it's funny. I miss that. I do too. Yeah. I still stand. It's funny because I'll stand there. Um, people that know me well, I'll stand on the remote on Netflix or whatever. And I just like to look. And I spent 30 minutes looking. And, uh, you know, people were like, well, are we ever going to watch anything? I just like to look. Uh, I miss that process at Blockbuster, just looking for movies, you know, and trying to find something new is, is very fun for me. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, I miss that too.